Testing one, two, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Good. Everyone. It is Monday, April 19th. As usual, we'll just follow the same order. Premier, Minister of Health, and then Dr. Patterson. Then we'll just get right into questions. I notice a couple people are missing today, so it might not be quite as long, but you'll have more opportunity to ask away. Thank you. April 19th. Minister apa <laughs> I'm going to look at twenty-eight million dollars of the money that we have been spending on the money that we have been spending on the money that Nuvanayakangitu, <laughs> 3,693 kapiyo hima yut nuvan na yuata ayikutin maderna mi amma 2,545 tana tuglia ni kapiyo hima yut nakalung miyuta ni maderna mi nakalung ni amma nekungu mitako ilinnawit kablunatu stage 4 mitu ukwa hima yut matakwa awdla kwalya yutakwa ilinnawit mi ilinnawit mi iting iluti Takwa Cutting a studia, uh, Utaki, the Eternal to beer and wine, we knew we were all to cutting a low lamata. 
Just before I begin, uh, our thoughts and prayers are you for the hard times that the community is going through right now. Good morning. Today are, we are reporting six new cases of COVID-19 in Nakaluit. There are now 28 active cases in Nuwud, and all of them are here in the capital. Since the start of the outbreak, there has been 263 COVID-19 tests done in Akaluit. Of those, 28 tested positive. 235 are negative, and these are good numbers that we're seeing for the, uh, what I'm just going to say. 14,255 Nunamute have received their first dose of the Moderna vaccine, and 10,933 Nunamute are now fully vaccinated in, in Nunamute. Here in Nakaluit, 3,693 3, people have received their first dose, and 2,545 have received both doses. And please, Nunavut Mune, if you have not been vaccinated, go get vaccinated. If you get your first dose of Moderna, please get your second dose. Akaluit and APAC schools are now at stage four and have transitioned to remote learning. Parents and students, teachers will be in touch today with details if they haven't already. I want to assure Echanumiu that moving forward, clear markers and spacing will be in place at the beer and wine store. Saturday did not go as we envisioned, but as soon as we realized, realized things, we took immediate action to correct it. On behalf of the government of Nunavut, I apologize for the situation and assure you that we will do better next time. Echanumiu, please stay safe. Protect yourselves and your communities and your loved ones. And if you leave the house, mass up. When you get back to the house, wash your hands, stay home, and please get vaccinated. Thank you. Kalau <laughs> 
I just like to take a moment to remind Nunavumi that non-essential travel right now is not at all advisable. We can't stop people from traveling, but it is strongly discouraged. Cases in many parts of the country are rising rapidly. The variants are a huge concern and question mark. Please don't take chances unless it is necessary. We're asking this to protect our territory and Nunavumi. Unado ka ko mabluo ayu lika tak simala umani na okalu ka yugi ako yung kotak tun tap sa mano nuno nuno bumi ida nuno bagjo ang niyo mixano man na akik simala kumat take ko akik tao yung kaya kalo okut okalu kada kay chita gunga one eight 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 nine seven five eight six zero one mut anya abin mut okalu ng aalo si ako kotik sa kaob si tama tama nuno bagjo ang niyo mixano asingin nulo I just want to mention also that the concerns with the COVID hotline have been resolved. So please call the hotline at 1-888-975-8601 and not your health center for COVID-related questions and issues. ukiyong <laughs> Taman na sa pilagotig itay lilo tigut kagdi juti loh itay lilo talo. Taman na pilag katigig kupta tam na ani upcia on nagtok tagbani. Ipaksa upcia kulo ipsa yung nunakatigig upcia on na niya may yugo taman na ani yoktig kuptigo. We've had about a year to, uh, uh, over a year to deal with the uh, public health measures on COVID. We've seen what Arved went through and how hard they have worked. We know what we are doing. I know this isn't easy or fun, but we're all in this together, even from a distance. We can do this. Let's stay strong, vigilant, and committed. We've got this, but only if we do our part. Take care of yourselves and each other and stay apart so we can come back together someday soon. Play in the me. Today we announced another uh, six cases of COVID-19. As of now, all of these positive, uh, all, all of these cases are doing well and isolating at home. Contact tracing continues to trace and isolate new cases. As we continue to assess this situation, schools will remain closed for at least this week. There has been a lot of concern from communities about the uh, mandated isolation for people who left Iqaluit on or after April 7th. We do have guidance on isolation that will be supplied to hamlets and resources are available on our website. Oh. Katiyaw si Mayunig, how is our plan in Nato and Malutamako, Nalunato, you and it daily to Tola Hatta today? Taman, how is our plan knitting nail in their beta banipina service of me matumai down there to him? Tama is my lota high nanga nona lini tamako and it daily gear honey, tamakunang, a haluning ala to the April seven making on air gulu. Tako, how you get out in a two kiss gear out in any daily gear honey, motino yaw now to ham la kun no damalo, two kiss gear out it said to in now may you yakun. People who live in shared housing can isolate safely with regular cleaning, wearing a mask, and staying distance. 
um, and not sharing items like utensils, we can stop the spread of virus to other people in the home. Mandated isolation is also an important measure to reduce the risk of spreading the virus to other communities. If you left a Callaway on or after April 7th, and that includes today and going forward, you must isolate for 14 days from the day that you left a Callaway. In a Callaway, masks are mandatory in all public places. This means anytime you are in a public area and uh, with a reasonable chance of running into other people, you must wear a mask. You can remove the mask when you're eating or drinking. we have been watching the other provinces uh, very closely as cases rise and cities go back into lockdowns. This should reinforce the need to follow public health measures and to avoid non-essential travel to the south. Public health measures work. We, we have seen them work in Santa Kilowak, Rankin Inlet, Whale, Clo Whale Cove, and Aviat. I know it's frustrating and for many a hardship, but for the, the, the more we follow the rules, the quicker we can stop transmission. I would like to conclude with some good news. If all goes well, tomorrow we can officially declare the outbreak in Aviat over. I want to again recognize the hard work of the community and health staff to get to this point. We know it wasn't easy. Thank you. <laughs> Jack McKay, CBC News. Um, can you tell us the age range of the positive cases? Jack McKay, CBC, could you take a hatch in Yoki or Hamangata Nova Joanna Tasma Yoha or Nahi? They're all adults. Most are in like three quarters or in their twenties or thirties. Taco in now you in Nay Taco Abangitangatani to twenty in the thirty in the low Kuli.
In terms of the uh, number of positive cases that we're seeing, um, how can you attribute that to the vaccine and how it's impacting the outbreak? Uh, too early to say for sure. Um, I'm not aware of any evidence of vaccine failure, but um, as far as impact on the overall uh, the course of the outbreak, too, it's too soon to tell. Canada. Are any of the positive cases variants? And if not, when are you going to be able to say whether or not they're variants? Matisse Harvey Radio Canada Kuni Tamako Nova Joan of Tasma Yutamachuming as Jipalayim is Angi of Palayim in Nova Joan of Minaluna Tasimoban. So again, it takes at least a week for us to find out, and the we found out Wednesday night would have uh, been ready for shipping sometime Thursday. So the earliest we're going to know of any variants is at the end of this week or into the weekend. How many people have been identified over the weekend as new contacts? Are they all in Calgary? There were, as of yesterday, there were over 130 contacts identified. Um, we've heard some uh, questions about people in other communities who may be higher risk contacts, but the uh, contact tracing staff are getting in touch with them either during the day yesterday or today and sorting out if uh, what their risk is. I'm a trend to the Canadian press. We heard the Premier talk about the vaccine, or sorry, the testing numbers in the Calgary today. Um, what do you make of those numbers? It's roughly 10% are positive, but what's your understanding? I'm a trying to Canadian press couldn't see will of the Halimaka Matako Hatsu Manga Tehalun Nihai Sakta Sima Yulumimo ten percent Terugu Yugi Magi Hanolitaman Nesma give you. So there's two groups of people being tested in a Halloween right now. There's the people who are identified through uh, contact tracing, and then there's people who are reporting symptoms. Um, the percentage of positivity is, is much higher if we look at just the contact, the people who are known as contacts. But uh, as we catch up to the chain of transmission, uh, we've already seen that percentage uh, drop over the last 24, 48 hours. And as things progress, as we um, uh, catch up with the, all of the contact tracing, we should see that percentage continue to drop. We will see that drop. Thanks. Do you have any update on how COVID entered the Kalwi? No. Okay. <laughs> okay.
That's the Matari. That's the news. Following up on Matisse's question, how often do tests get sent south for variant uh, testing? Testing pattern on a check on the Matisse, a pecotic coy and attack, or Hanu to Yao Lotta, or Hataka Haluna, no acid cunning in no acid jipalayo, no coyes up to tell you. Uh, right now, the majority of tests are getting sent. Uh, we may slow down or stop that um, once, uh, if we confirm that there's only one variant, but right now, most are going down. On Friday, you talked a little bit about how the COVID hotline staffing had been increased. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit more about how nurse staffing has been increased more broadly. So there were uh, three or four staff uh, redeployed or being in the process of being redeployed at the end of last week. Um, and there's at least one or two more arriving today to help out in a Kaluit. Pinga su sita malu ni kana yapi tei kungo no tata usi malila utu pina swa usi nungwa ni ola utu ata usi makulu ni tama we kalu no tiki ni ame yoi kaya kalu. We've also uh, increased the number of uh, nurses that are providing the virtual public health nurse support. Trevor, I don't know news. Um, how much of a factor is a more crowding housing playing a factor here compared to other communities we have seen outbreaks in? Trevor Wright, no novel news could need a quality Hanu to get to his man a hack, I love me or had to give me so long in yes, a jigging in the Takulogia singing in Nunali news in Miami. Right now, it's less of an issue. It's still a challenge in a Kaluit, and uh, but it's less than it is in some some other communities. Man, now you tell me, nice and I don't know in a sassing in new money, Nunali, Ekaluni, Tama, Illumi or Hatigami, Suga, Lakis, and yet so not to go to town in a soil. Uh, what are the recommendations for uh, masks in apartment buildings as you're going home, so to say, inside a building? Uh, do you just keep wearing it? Or? Uh, wearing masks indoors uh, in public areas is, is the more important part of wearing the mask. So. In the case of an apartment building, it would be best to have the mask on as soon as you go outside of your apartment. Um, coming from the Facebook feed, there's a lot of questions about why the beer and wine store is still open. Can you explain uh, why it's considered an essential service? Jack and McKay, CBC, Kuni, take a Facebook, a person to hide Nanga Sumatana, beer tab, be wine tab, be lumatuing among us, Nalunera, Nakutana, Pimaruna, among us. So there's two things that'll happen when, when, a, when the beer and wine store is closed for a significant period of time. One is there will be an increased uh, uh, demand on the hospital as uh, people who struggle with alcohol addiction um, are unable to have trouble getting it and, and will see people showing up with uh, withdrawal. Um, and the other thing, the other fact is that it uh, will drive people towards uh, bootleggers and other illegal access to alcohol, which is higher risk both for transmission and higher risk of problems from alcohol. Makuling ayutan na beer tabi, wine tabi, lutema, matumakutakan na simanakata, ko makuling ang mati, sumalutiw ayakto, 
ila ngata na solo ane abile na sao hatale ga yanga to tama ko e me alo me ayole go te khasima yo timinga aka ngile go te khale ga matate ko aka gunne hatta ngata ane abile na sao hatale ga yanga ta amalo ai panga tama ko pe go ya ni male se go me silo te me alo ta be go hatta to tama tsumo ga pe ga le kanne le sao ga yanga ta mana lo lo ga na to me kanne go ta ga ya so ne sao ma te tsigo na ne go For lab testing capacity, I know we can do up to 200 today, but that would be stretching our staffing limits. Can you um, say how that is going in about approximately how many tests we're doing a day? I think the max we've done in any one day since this started is 70 or 80. Matisamvi, Radio Canada. Are you considering to put in place spaces in Iqaluit for um, isolation to avoid any community transmission? Matisavi Radio Canada Kuni in a Chalo Simavi, Tamane, Haluni, any daily view to Narel in Nitaman Nanunal in the Sir Mark Palle Hunago, in Igioke Narunayakuni. In every community, we've had uh, times where we need to, where people need alternative isolation sites, or it's at least worth considering. Um, and if, if and when that issue comes up, we'll deal with it in the same way of, of finding. Uh, vacant units and or hotel rooms if needed. Nuna lilima ni taman na isama sa siyo kuta usi katanga na na mga ngake na sama gyo harun ng mga ani tayliga hatilui. Taman na sa kaya ni tato haga halaga yaka tay ma na luna si balay halaga yaku gu inu tao si mga ito ni ilu ni kubalon ni to yung mibi mito si kaya na katanga na yaku gu. Nurses who were um, supposed to be transferred uh, are being told that there's not enough staff housing at the moment for them. What options are you considering to house them? The Department of Health has um, a contract with one of the hotels to provide short-term housing for individuals coming in. Um, Longer term housing is you'd have to ask the Nunavut Housing Corporation and the, uh, others about what the solutions are available. Pardon me, what solutions are available in that instance? I'm attracted to the Canadian press. Given the contact tracing you've done so far, are you able to say how widespread this outbreak is? I'm attracted to Canadian press. Given the contact tracing you've done so far, are you able to say how widespread this outbreak is? I'm attracted to Canadian press. Not, I'm not sure what you, you're getting at. Sorry, Emma. Um, I guess, do we know if it's spread to other communities? Is there, are you able to trace it, I guess, is what I'm asking. So, no, it's, there's no evidence that it's in other communities at this point. If there was, we would... Um, the country, the entire country would know within probably 12 hours. Um, inside Akaluit, we, uh, we know the links for each and every case that we found so far. Um, so in the next little while will be, you know, critical to staying on top of that and keeping uh, everyone in isolation and, and hopefully stopping transmission as soon as possible. Kawin na sa mga ito tama na nuna lino sa mga sa mga asingin naman na yon na luna ng ito kanatamiyulima kawin gayak tutuhaw kikakain alaw tin nagiluni 
Sanilita Mane, Halumne, how you may go tack or knocking out to me, you mangata, Sam, my beau, you mean, how you may never ulumimo. Tama, how you suck a lane, no nurse to go to Macquail, and it daily to tell you to Tamana, Sam, my palay, and Hilami, you go, no carpet over Is there anything you learned from the outbreak in Ariat that you're applying to the outbreak here in Halloween? Ini lautan ni tahu bani awal yang sama pula sama yang ni atau terhakik tamani ikhlas ni sama pula halak jilung. Yeah, there were operational lessons that I, uh, some of the staff who were involved in outbreaks in some of the other communities have um, been involved in Akalawit and have uh, offered them up. We've done uh, reports on most of the communities that have uh, previously been affected and some of those lessons have been incorporated into our protocols. So, Lutamako Ekana Yatila or Hatolo to Sam Apalayo Hatiluga singing in Nunali Nitamanila or Hatolo to Ikayo Puti Haluni Amalutamako Nikali or Josimalangata Nunali Nesam Apalian or to Missa Nitamako to Hatam Nata Vili Gutigisimayabu Atu Tigilu with Amatkununga to Agalari Valia Yatino. Does the Vatarna not take news? It's been four days since the storehouse was identified as a site of possible exposure. Do you anticipate any adding any more sites to that? Dustin Patar, storehouse Sirlo, we take any how you are similar to the Lugasing in Nopatao, some of you in the Beauty in the Element on the How you see my We don't plan on anything right now, but it, it's always a possibility. Can you walk us through what happened at the beer and wine store on Saturday, how it was remedied, and what you learned? Um, yeah, as a, the GN as a whole, I think, learned to anticipate that if the beer and wine stores close, the lineup's going to be, uh, even outdoors, is going to be significant, and we need a plan to um, manage that and to ensure that everybody's wearing a mask. And I, I believe that partway through the afternoon, somebody painted uh, markers along the, the road so that people would know or be reminded to maintain distancing in the lineup. Things like that will uh, greatly reduce whatever the chance is of transmission in a setting like that. Nuna Bugava Makumi, how you malangata, Nero, Nero Hatalis Sutilu, Matusima, you mean you till good day, Mark, Amiso, Alo Hatam, and the day, Mautaki, you line up to Taman Napam now to Simaya, let out Sarum Nahulugo, so Lunalo Nasi Saman, Mumato Asimat Sara, or Mangata. Take any no sangani time, uh, town and in Nunangani. A mere Minaluna yale to me, Hanutigi, Umasigi, Yahamanga, Tamagutu, Nartuni. They might take me to Tamako, Hanilio Rutogu, not to sell Martic Tail in Malito Yasilato. Jack in the case, CBC News. Um, I just wanted to follow up on Emma's question. You talked about some lessons were being applied, but you didn't say what those were. Can you explain what they are? Jackie McKay, CBC, could name up a cutty cow and a cute chair hung in the view. Kiss an illigutical out and illigutical out and near to nursing in me. Don't let me. Um, it's a bunch of things, uh, in, uh, in terms of how we communicate with people, like what sort of questions they're going to uh, have how to explain what's required for isolation and how long it lasts, um, and then some more operational questions of how to organize um, uh, contact tracing around such a, when it uh, increases so fast. Um, there's a, a whole bunch of them, and some of them are not formally captured on paper. I am going to go to the house and I am going to go to the house and I am going to go to the house 
I don't look at their medical records. Again, I'm not aware of any incident of uh, vaccine failure. Canada. Just to follow up on a question um, Jackie asked earlier are about testing, are you considering to order a new device here in Calgary? Matisse Ivy Radio Canada Kuni Jack you have a cutting how you know how you sound no more tiki say candela kino tami how you saw to me tamang e kalunu Not at this time we still have we could reroute samples to Rankin Inlet if we had to there's a, a few options available for testing um, and um, the more pressing concern would be or maybe not pressing but they, we can't lose sight of the fact that we need point of care testing available in in many other communities before we um, need more testing here mana yo aga tako ilangi au lotte ta nga hatta ko nak siga yang ata kan yak sinak mo ati gi ngitu ni lo nale ra ko ti tsaha su ta hawe sa hatta nak mo tamak ko ni nga hawe sa ta u yalin ni pi mari ni sa ni mana yo sama lo ta han no sa ga ta so I know you've said you still don't know how COVID got into the territory, but are you, have you been able to find who patient zero was? Uh, no, that would pretty much tell us how it got in, how it arrived in the Iqaluit. It's kind of one and the same. We don't know at this point. I know it's still early on, but at what point do you look at easing restrictions? I'm thinking going to stage three at schools. At what point do you start considering that? I'm a trans Canadian press school. I'm here to meet you. I'm to show you. Well, I guess I'm going to go to your big apple. I'm going to be looking at me. Who's in the name? Three me. I'm going to be looking at you. I'm going to go to your big apple. I'm going to be reasonably certain that we've identified uh, the chain of transmission and the majority of new cases will be people who've already been identified as uh, exposure or having been exposed and are in isolation. <laughs> We've seen cases slowly rise over the weekend. Can you make any predictions about whether they will continue to rise and if we'll see any kind of jump in cases? Uh, we're certainly not going to see any recoveries till the weekend. Uh, between now and then, we'll almost certainly see cases increase. Um, we know that uh, amongst high risk people who are classified as high risk exposures, at least five or ten percent will go on to develop infection. Um, so, yeah, they'll at the very least creep up over the next uh, the rest of this week um nalunang itu galo atamako hanu igun ne palle ne atu nuga jo anaktasi mayo pinasa ko si nungu nungu gine atangani 
Nalunangi to Tamako, Missong Palake, Nana to Galoa, Piro to Mitako, Katia Hap to Minu, Nalun Nova Joan of Taro Namning it, Nalunangi to ten percenting it, I man over Joan of Taro Nassin Arming in Nakisani, Mana Yonalunato, Tamako Hanuti, you now Mangata, Tabani Pinasa or Suiloani. And just to reinforce, that's a sign of the contact tracing procedure working. Like we expect that's going to happen. Justice Patarni, that's it news. Last week you said that Akawa being bigger had a potential for more spread, but also greater resources. How have those resources kind of helped in the last, I guess, just under a week? Justin Petarno, not second, Nikki Haluni, Tema, I'm assuming in no, I'm assuming some Matoha to Nara Hamning in Noha Yugavi, Ohala Ovid, Amalu, Tema, Lopilari to Chahat Sam, Nara, Nursa Lugu, Hanotama Copilari to Tisa to Terrasimoban. I, yeah, it's a hard one to answer because at the same time there's um, you know, uh, greater exposures because of uh, restaurants and bars and, and uh, uh, greater crowds. So uh, I don't know at this point. Do you have the percentages of those vaccinated in the Calgary? How do you percent in the Calgary? Not off the top of my head, no. <laughs> Even I know you skipped a few words. Trevor, I don't know what news I Could you tell us which communities have the um, higher risk contacts you mentioned earlier? Or? Nuna vo news kuni travel right na le nuna le ita ko katiyao yu mini katu ina ga hakan uluga na tu mina sao yu tema katisi tu ina ga tu mini uningin No, we don't discuss locations and details for people who've been exposed. Um, most, if not all, have already been tested, and their initial tests are negative, but they'll remain in isolation to uh, ensure that the other communities stay safe. Uh, which hotel does the uh, Department of Health have a contract with with regard to um, bringing workers in? I don't know. That's operational, uh, uh, part of the operational division, so it's not part of mine. Thank you.